Hey there YouTubers, it's Chris from Canopy Crypto. Just wanted to run you through Remix, which is an online editor for creating smart contracts. And it's got a really user, a friendly user interface. It's pretty simple to get a token published. And what I'm gonna show you today is just high level what to do uh, to get a token published on the blockchain. So, what you do is just go to remix.ethereum.org and you'll find there's a set of workspaces here you can set up for your project. Um, you'll see I've called mine Frankenstein here, but there's a number of other workspaces you can create. And each workspace will have a contracts folder. And I've created a Bob token contract. Uh, this is all solidity. And um, this is just boilerplate for any token. And this is the kind of the bare minimum, um, what you need for launching a token. And I'll, I'll include it in the description um, below um, as a reference. But it's, it's basically um, just code that allows you to reference an open source library. It's actually uh, Open Zeppelin, not open source, but it's um, a repository. It's a security company. Um, that provides standards for smart contracts. And, uh, and so it's as easy as referencing their smart contract ERC20 um, Solidity files. The two here, ERC20 and ownable.sol Solidity. And then uh, just adding a bit of information for your contract. So I've, I've dummied up a Bob token. Um, Literally, all you have to do is just call the contract, uh, you know, a name, like a unique name. Bob token is my example. And the actual um, reference of the token is Bob. Uh, that's what you'll see when you're actually uh, buying it or putting it in your, in your uh, MetaMask or your wallet. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much as simple as this. Um, so what you do is you you know create a basically create a new workspace, um, create a Solidity file. Um, you can create a blank file um, easily just using the editor. So create new file here, and again I've already done that. But um, and then cut and paste. Um, you need to reference the the versions of Solidity at the top. Uh, import the open Ze Zeppelin code for the um, ERC20 smart contracts. It's basically, again, boilerplate for, uh, for crypto tokens. And then just uh, have this, this function, ownable function, uh, wrap around a constructor, again, with the name of your token. And it's um, reference there, what you're calling it, Bob. And uh, this will generate uh, 1 million uh, Bob tokens. And 18 is the number of decimal places. Um, and this, this mint function will just basically um, send this uh, set of tokens, this million tokens, to the owner of the wallet that is using it. So if that's me, I'm signing up, I'm signing in with my MetaMask. Um, then uh, that will be sent to me. I'll have a million Bob tokens and then I can send them to my friends. Um, what you do need to do is um, just for the testing environment, you need to go to Rinkaby and um, you need to get some test ether. Uh, Rinkaby is a, it's a faucet. It's basically a way to test smart contracts and you just have to follow their directions to um, give them your wallet address to send some tokens to. Um, and again, you'll find them in your MetaMask wallet. I've got 1.5 Rinkeby ETH. Um, and you can make sure you're on the Rinkeby test network. So once you've cut and paste into a workspace, you've, got a solid you've created a Solidity file, .sol. Um, the first thing to do is basically you compile it. So on the left, you have compile, compile the token. And um, once you hit compile, then it'll give you uh, 
an idea. Is it okay? Is, the, is, is there a green check mark after you've compiled it? Are there any, are there any uh, warnings in the bottom? And once you've passed that test there, then you can go and deploy it. And this is where you, um, you can choose the injected provider, which is basically MetaMask. And you can, um, then you can make sure that you have that selected for the Rinkeby network. You make sure you're on the MetaMask injected provider um, selection, and then you hit deploy. And so um, once you've done that, you can deploy on a test network. And um, if you don't get any warnings or anything, then you can proceed to going on a live network. So you can, if it's uh, an Ethereum, token, then you would move over to the Ethereum mainnet or Polygon mainnet, and you would deploy your token there. So that's basically it. Um, again, um, there are other options here for if, you, if you're using hard hat on the at a command line level, but um, this is the easiest approach is using Remix, using MetaMask, and having some uh, Rinkeby ETH and um, deploying. Um, there are a few things you got to watch out for. Um, you might not have enough gas. You might get an error. It's the most common error. You don't have enough gas. Make sure in your in the test network, uh, Rinkeby, you've got enough ether you sent yourself. Usually um, one or two ethers sufficient, and I think it'll cost you maybe you know 0.2 or something ether on the Rinkeby network, and then. Um, yeah, and you can have your token, and then you'll see um, you'll see on the uh, when you try and hit deploy, uh, we've got green check mark again. That's good on the test net, um, and uh, you will be able to then find it on the on the blockchain and um, and move then to the actual uh, Ethereum network or Polygon network and deploy it there. Um, in your MetaMask account. So yeah, anyway, hope that's helpful. And um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.